Let's do it. Go ahead. Throw it in. Throw it in. Nice job. Hi, I'm Jim Rapp with Beach and Beyond. Each summer, hundreds of thousands of people come to Astig Island National Seashore in the State Park to recreate in these beautiful white sandy beaches. But every September, a few hundred come back to help clean up the beach during International Coastal Cleanup Day. So I'm here with my friend Matt Heim. Matt works with the Astig Coastal Trust. They help to organize the volunteers. Matt, how are we doing today? Doing great. We had about 180 volunteers show up. Wow, 180. Cool. Great day. And uh, so, like, how many t how, typically? How many pounds of trash? What kind of item? Anything unusual this year? Yeah, I mean, usually we get you know in the hundreds of pounds of trash coming in. Um, this year we've gotten some of the regulars, you know, your cigarette butts, your bottle caps, yeah. and things like that. A few unusual items. We got our driftwood coming in, a few tires. We had a marine battery come in. Yeah. So, and we're still having stuff come in. So I'm sure we'll have a few more unusual items before the day's over. Wow. Now the volunteers here said 180. They're cleaning up all over the island. Yeah. So where are they? They're um they're all over the place. We've got a lot of them are up north. Mm -hmm. on the, uh, the north end of the island there, north of the state park and around the inlet. Uh, we've got them all over the day use area here. Um, and then a few of them brought their own four-wheel drive vehicles that are down the OSV. That's cool. Yeah. Um, we've even got a few who brought kayaks around the marsh side um, and doing a water waterbound uh, cleanup over there. Wow, all over the island then. So Everywhere. kayakers, people in the ORV zone, uh, north end, the park service takes them up there. So they get a really unique view of the island as part of their volunteer service today. Yeah, they do. We say they get a free safari. That's it. That's pretty out. cool, man. Well, thanks, Matt, and good work. Yeah, thanks, thanks for helping out. Thanks, man. Okay, so I'm here with some of the volunteers today at Coastal Cleanup. Hi, guys. How you Hello. doing? Where do you guys come from today? Salisbury, Salisbury University. All right, that's you. So tell me, what's the deal with the card? Okay, so before we went out today, they gave us cards to record as accurately the information that we picked up today, all the trash and stuff. So uh, most likely to find, we found a lot of cigarette butts today. Uh, there were tons of bottle caps, lots of plastic materials. So it's kind of sad to see, but good thing we picked up most of it. Well, thank you guys for volunteering. That's great. So Appreciate it, guys. Well. All right, go thank SU. You. Okay, so I'm here with some of my friends. You all came down from UMES, right? Yeah. Okay, and this is part of a class project? Yes, it is. It's for credit. Okay, that's great. What class? Um, it is Marine Botany. Lab. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for helping out. Thank you. Appreciate it. Bye. Bye. All right, so where have you guys come from? I come from Maryland, but our friends come from New York, New York. <laughs> Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Plan their trip here to make it this day and participate in this every year. And we've done this for what, three or four five, years? Five, five years. years now. We can't thank you enough. Thanks for helping out and helping clean our beach. Okay, we enjoy it. We That's came for the t shirts. <laughs> So I'm here with my friend Nick Clemens. Nick works for the National Park Service. Hey Nick. How you doing? Good man. So it's been a good day so far. We talked to Matt about all the debris we picked up. But why is this important for Assateague, which is known for its beautiful white sandy beaches? Uh, extremely important. Uh, we have this uh, coast cleanup every year. Kind of get us back from after a really busy summer. Right. A lot of visitors uh, and just really for the wildlife out so here. So what are some of the impacts to wildlife? If we left the trash here or there is trash, what does it do to wild animals or can do? Well, you have a lot of fishing going on out here. The monofilament lines get caught uh, by birds. Things get tangled up in there. Mm -hmm. A lot of plastics look like uh, trash bags, look like food, jellyfish, sea turtles mm -hmm. will ingest it. We make oh, them wow. sick and die. I mean, it's really important that we get this stuff up off the beaches. So not only important for us to visit and use Asti, but also for the wildlife that lives here too. Yes. All right, Nick, thank right. you. Thank you, Jim. We encourage you to visit our beautiful beaches at Aspeak Island and Ocean City, but remember to leave only footprints and take only memories when you travel Maryland's beach and beyond.